Necron 99. All right, hey everybody, it's 99, and uh, today I'm going to be starting a series of uh, quick little videos to show you the anatomy of all the different parts inside Beatmaker 2. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'll uh, load up Beatmaker 2. All right, so for this project, or for this video, I'm going to open up a new project. And what we're going to start on today is the drum machine. So let's go ahead and load a drum machine. And I'm going to choose an empty preset. And let's load the drum machine. Okay, so here you are on the preset tab. And the preset tab is annotated by this little, this button right here. And that's, it just looks like a, a grid of 16 pads on a page. So what you have here on this, on this tab is you have your banks. See this A up here? This is what bank you have loaded. So if you, if you tap it, it takes you to your bank list. So you can choose bank A, bank B, bank C, bank D, all the way up to bank H. And then you have these buttons down here and you can load a bank and that's gonna take you to um, all your presets. So you can load like, let's go to this ambience, load this preset into bank H. So now you have all these different samples loaded into the pads on bank H. If you go back to bank G, all these pads are, are empty. And you can load a different preset in there. So let's go ahead and load bank. Let's choose, um, actually let's go back. I'll choose a electronica preset. And presets are basically just kits. And so now on bank G, I have the electronica preset. Okay, and you can do that for every pad or every set of banks. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clear those banks. Yes, clear bank G. And go ahead and do, now they're all empty. And we'll go ahead and do that to bank H. This still has them. We'll clear that bank. Yes, and now they're all blank. So let's go back to bank A. And to get out of this bank screen, just tap the top bank again. So now uh, you can see that ambience is written in that black square under the word preset. And all that is is basically telling you which preset you're on. So if I were, and since it's empty right now, it shouldn't actually be listing anything. Um, but I think because it's the last one I loaded, it stays in there. So if you just hit the arrow key, it's going to take you to the next bank or the next preset list, the next preset in the list. So just hit the arrow and it's going to auto load the preset. It's going to load the drum and bass preset. And uh, you can just keep loading different presets to see which one has the sounds you like. I'm going to clear these pads again though. Go to clear bank. There you go. Okay, so now they're all empty again. So if you want to load a preset manually, you can do so by pressing the load preset button. And you have different ways that you can load the preset. So you go to sound library and then go to drum machine. And here's your different folders of uh, stock presets. So let's go ahead and go into the hip hop one. And there's your preset. The preset is the .bmk2 file. If you go into the samples folder, it'll be empty. It's not going to let you see the samples because you're not looking for audio files. You're looking for an actual preset file. So don't freak out if you don't see your samples. It's just not showing them to you. So you load the hip hop one preset, and there you go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and clear that preset. Or actually, let's say you made changes. Let's say you loaded a snare onto this, this pad right here, replacing that hi-hat. And you loaded a, a clap here and a couple of uh, audio vocal samples here. And let's say you wanted to save that as your own preset. So you could go to Save Preset. And in here, what I like to do when I'm saving my own presets is I'll go to Edit Files, I'll create a folder, and just call it My Presets. 
And it's, this isn't going to save your presets in the same folder as the BeatMaker 2 stock presets. It's going to give you your own folder inside your content folder. Click OK. And um, I like to copy the samples normally. So let's go into the My Presets folder. Check the box here for copy samples. And then I'm going to save. Save it as test preset. Okay, hit OK. And now it's saving that um, this as a preset. And um, let's go ahead and clear this bank. And lastly, you have your chop button. So when you click the chop, it's going to take you to the sample lab. And from there, you have the option to record a sample, open a sample, or import from your iPod. Um, let's just go ahead and open a sample real quick. I'll go to my content, my sample rules. Let's go to Gold Baby Urban Cookbook Volume 1. And we'll just take a let's just go into layering tools. Okay, I'm just going to load that. So this takes you into your, your sample lab. And from here, you can add your slice points and whatnot. So from there, if you wanted to save, you just X out, uh, do your save as. I'm just going to discard for, this, this, uh, for the time being on this one. Okay, so that's the first page on the preset tab. And down here, you can see that it's page one of two. So by using the left and right arrows, you can move to the next page. So let's go to page two of two. And page two of two is going to take you to polyphony. And in this particular drum machine, it's polyphony for the whole set of pads, not just for one pad. Or it's not polyphony per pad, it's polyphony per drum machine. So by having it at 16, that means you can play all 16 of these pads at the same time and they won't cut each other off. If I were to turn it down to eight, I could hit these eight, and if they were long samples, it would play them all. But if I hit another button up here before any of these samples were done, it would cut off um, probably the first sample. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that real quick. I'll just do it with two samples real quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and load a couple quick samples. Let's go to quick load, uh, my content. Actually, we'll just load this. Close that, let it stop. Okay, so now, now that I have my two samples loaded, let's go ahead and take this down to a polyphony of one. So if I hit one and it starts playing, it'll play it all the way through because it's on one shot mode. But once I hit the second pad, it's gonna cut it off. So watch. Okay, so once I hit pad two, it's gonna cut it off. Now it's not playing anymore. And once I hit pad one, it's going to cut it off again. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop that. If I turn the polyphony up, and so since there's only two sounds, I only need to turn it up to two, I'll be able to play both at the same time. I hit this. If once I hit the second uh, pad, the first sample is going to keep playing. It's going to sound really bad. But they're both playing. But they're both playing because the polyphonies, uh, the polyphony allows for two pads to be playing at one time. And now with this, you can take the polyphony up past 16 because you have uh, multiple groups. So you can take it up to 32 pads. That means you can have 32 sounds playing at one time. Um, there you have it. That's, that's the preset tab on BeatMaker 2. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. Um, go ahead and leave a comment, rate, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace.